Welcome back everybody to a, another Fallout 4 video. In this one, I am going to be telling you guys and showing you guys some things you may not know about the game. And this being some new features that were added or some features that, at least if you were a newcomer to Fallout, Fallout 4 is like your first game that have always been in Fallout games that you may not know about. Because when you play through, like, they don't tell you. So, first thing, and obviously Fallout veterans know this, if you hold down your pip boy button whether it's tab on pc b or i think circle on the console then you get a light now you can change this color of the light but this will help out a lot especially in the darker underground areas just do know that this will affect your sneaking and enemies will be able to see you easier because of the light this also works on power armor and if you have like a miner's helmet on with a flashlight on top of it uh, it works with those, except obviously it's not going to come out of the Pip Boy. It's going to come out of the lights either on the power armor or the mining helmet. The next thing I want to show you guys is how to get vats when you're not in combat. So normally, I think there's an enemy over here. You would hit LB or R or L1 or I think Q on the PC, and it will go into vats where it slows everything down, and that's all good and dandy. But if you get this perk called Vans which is the first one for intelligence where it actually will display the path to your closest quest and you may not think you can access that without being in combat well there actually is a way and all you have to do is hold down the vats button so similar to the pit boy for pc it's q for xbox one and ps4 guys it's the left bumper hold it down and now you will be in vats even though there may not be enemies near you and you can obviously look around and if you had the vans thing it would actually oh god it would actually uh okay can we not lock onto those people it would actually show you the green smoke or whatever it is on the ground so all you have to do is hold down the vats button all right sorry for the frame rate i, I need to lower my settings apparently because damn well, i'm only getting 40 frames looking into the city another new feature that bethesda have implemented is the hidden bar up at the top as you can see it says hidden right now now you may be thinking no you're an idiot that's wrong they've always had that and you are kind of right, but there is a new feature, and that is with the brackets around the hidden. So right now, I'm not moving. They are as far out as possible. I start moving, and they slowly creep in. Now, what this basically uh, tells you is how close you are to getting the next like level. So if you didn't know, there's hidden, there's caution, and then there's danger. Hidden means they don't see you. Caution means they know somebody's there. They don't know exactly where you are. And danger means they know where you're at, and they're going to attack you. So... We have some ghouls here. As you can see, my sneak, by the way, I'm like level four, so my sneak is not that good, but it's slowly, the brackets are slowly going in, and once it gets a little bit closer, it'll hit caution. And now, as you can see, they're looking for me. And if I get even closer, the brackets will slowly creep in until we hit danger, and then they will attack. As you can see. So. That is going to be pretty helpful if you guys do plan on sneaking a lot. Just be on the lookout for those brackets. They actually mean something now. So while you're exploring, if you see those brackets slowly go in, just know that you're about to be found. Kind of like the last feature, this one was something that was always in Bethesda games, but they kind of tweaked it, and that is the waiting feature. So what you actually have to do to wait now is you have to sit down. You have to find a chair or a bed. Normally before, you could just wait standing up wherever... And I guess this is a little bit more realistic. If you were going to be waiting for six or eight hours, then you would have to find a place to sit down. So now when you sit down, if you hit triangle on the controller and I think T on the, or on the PC, you can now wait. This next feature is something that was just added with Fallout 4. And I don't honestly know how helpful it's going to be just because it's, it's so random sometimes. And that is this new cover system. And you'll see enemies do this as well. So as you can see, we have just a gas pump. I am crouched here. I'm going to slowly walk up to it. And now if I hit the aim down button, you'll see I pop out. Now, unfortunately, I can do this in third person and it doesn't really like show anything. So I don't know exactly how like the hitboxes work if your character actually doesn't move. But... This may be helpful, you know, I'm demonstrating on like a freaking gas pump, so this probably isn't the best thing. If you had a wall or something, if you slowly walked up to it and then you peeked, instead of putting your entire body out, this may help you. Especially if you're playing on like survival, you know, this will definitely come in handy so you don't get shot as often. But yeah, I figured I would 
let you guys know about this and as you can see it works to the left side i don't actually know if it works like to peek up but that is something you might want to check out this next one is fairly common sense if you do wind up playing through the game, but I figured I would show it anyway. So with this new inventory system, as you can see on the right, it obviously tells you what the person or the thing you have killed or, or has on their um, on their body. And you're going to see a lot of the times they have these pluses. And what that means is that that's actually better than the armor or the gun that you have equipped. So as you can see, they actually have the same gun as me, so there is no plus and uh, the, the armor is obviously better than mine because I have Vault 111 armor, as you can see here. So, just figured I would let you guys know in case you were wondering why the pluses were there. And then finally, the last thing that I wanted to share with you guys is about the new settlement system, or about the new workshop system, kind of. And one, you are going to need a ton of ceramic and a ton of adhesive. So if you ever see things like, uh, I think ashtray might work, but I know the coffee cup over here, stuff like that, plates are good for the ceramic, but take these, and if you ever see duct tape around, take those, because that is useful, or that will give you adhesive, and what you can actually do with these, if I go ahead and fast travel to the red rocket truck stop so if we go over here you can actually go to this workbench or the workshop and if we hit a or actually instead of a that is not what i wanted to do if we hit x to transfer we can go into my junk and literally just transfer all of this junk that you would pick which includes the coffee cups the the duct tape all that stuff and this will obviously free up a ton of space on our body but it will now put it in this workshop, which I'm almost positive you can access from any workshop. So uh, that is definitely pretty helpful. Anyway, that is it. And by the way, if you wanted to check out my video I did earlier on how to get this pretty badass power armor, uh, I will have a playlist link in the description, which you can go check out all the other Fallout videos I've done, including this one. But that is it. Thank you guys for watching. See you guys in the next video. Drop a like if you did enjoy and found this helpful. Subscribe so you don't miss other awesome follow content. What the hell? Dog meat. Yo, nice. He brought me a mining helmet. Okay, well, see you guys in the next one. I'm out. Peace.